This alien looking creature is the thread legged bug. Only question is, can I catch it? What's up guys, welcome back to Can I Catch It, the nature show all about finding a wildlife adventure right at home in your own backyard. If it's your first time here and you've got a taste for adventure, consider subscribing. So today, we're after a bizarre creature known as the thread-legged bug. These guys are in the same family as assassin bugs, but look more closely to a walking stick or a praying mantis. Weirder still, these guys are nocturnal and are absolutely creepy looking. They make very seldom appearances during the day, but if you're lucky, you might be able to find one walking up a tree or near piles of leaf litter or rotting logs. We're no stranger to assassin bugs here on the channel, as we've worked with two in the past, both of which were diurnal species, characteristic of very painful bites. While a thread-legged bug will have a nasty bite, these guys are pretty delicate in general, so regardless of the bite, I don't recommend handling them directly. I see these guys ever so often out by the creek, so that's where I'm heading to go look for one. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to find a thread-legged bug and get it up close for the camera. Like I said before, these guys are nocturnal, so my best chance is to look underneath logs or in leaf litter. However, today is a pretty dreary day, so there's a chance that one of these guys might be hunting on the bark of a tree, looking for spiders, harvestmen, and other bark-dwelling creatures that it may make into meals. Just like the pale green assassin bug from some weeks ago, the thread-legged bug is incredibly camouflaged. With its thin body and slow movements, as well as its dull coloration, it blends right into the substrate that it typically hides in. Luckily, I've got a good eye for camouflage, so if there's one nearby, odds are I'll be able to see it and then catch it. When checking in rotting logs, the idea is to peel back the bark to see if anything is hiding in it. This one's only got ants. Let's move on. I'm also examining the trees because again, like I said, it's a dreary day, so there's a chance I might be able to find them hunting along the bark. Nobody's home here, but I've got a hunch that we're not far from finding our target species. All right guys, right there on this tree. Can you see it? I am inches away from a thread-legged bug. Take a minute to see if you guys can see it camouflaging in the bark of this tree. Yep, there it is. These guys look absolutely bizarre. We've worked with all kinds of strange looking creatures here on the channel before. Probably most strange was the Atlantic mole crab a few weeks back, but this guy tops even that. With its front claws, stick-like body, and characteristic assassin bug beak, this thing is like a cross between a walking stick, a praying mantis, and an assassin bug. What a weird find. It actually started raining, so I took him inside and put him against some white paper so you guys can take a look and see exactly how stick-like this insect is. The first time I found one of these guys, I actually thought it was a walking stick until I noticed the sucking mouth parts. Walking sticks have biting mouth parts used for chewing on leaves, while this guy have a rostrum, which is a modified proboscis used for piercing the shells of the insects that they prey on. Like I said before, I'm less worried about this guy's bite than the last two assassin bugs we've worked with, but these guys' bodies are so fragile and thin that I'm more worried about damaging and harming the insect than getting bit. That's why I'm using this old phone case that I've used to catch assassin bugs in the past. Typically it's to avoid a bite, but in this case I want to make sure that I don't injure the insect. Threadlegged bugs are nocturnal and usually are active hunters, using the darkness and their camouflage to their advantage. Some species, not this one, are actually known to walk in and onto spider webs without getting caught and eat the spider that lives there. Talk about having a weird evolutionary advantage there. This particular individual is an adult, but is incapable of flying, unlike a lot of the assassin bugs we worked with in the past. I brought this guy back to the tree where I found him to release him. Have a look at this insect's movement. Its slow, swaying motion makes it look like a piece of branch or stick swaying in the wind. If you think this guy is difficult to spot during the daytime, just imagine being hit one of his prey items at night. You're not going to see this guy coming, and the next thing you know, it'll be lunch. So with that said guys, that's all for this episode, and I hope to see you guys again next week. But until then, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.